Hi, I'm Chantel. Today I'm going to be doing a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about circumstances literally not fucking mattering. Yeah, and I'm just going to give you a little story time on how I know because things just change immediately, drastically. SP went from saying literally this week, um, week SP was like how he doesn't fuck with me, he's done with me, he doesn't want anything to do with me. And literally, this is me coming from his house after being wined, dined, spoiled, and have my, my wig sweated out. And here, this is where you can learn how to be in your goddess energy. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna damage my eyes for the sake of this video. I have this delicious Starbucks. The picture looks so good. The picture looks so good. But this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like, and it's too fucking sweet. This is me after 24 hours. Now I'm playing. So now it's about 10. I left his house at 8. Girl, this is what I look like after an over all nighter. So I got this bag right here. I got my all nighter shit in here. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. And I decided, yo, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make a video because I just wanna speak from my experience. Circumstances do not matter, bitch. Circumstances do not matter, y'all. I went from having this nigga tell me that he did not want to be with me no more and how he's good without me. And then on top of that, me saying the same thing. I was like, man, I'm fucking good. I don't need you, bitch. We're done. So, spoiled, spoiled, the same, less than a week. Literally less than a week. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just talk about my, my story. Earlier Saturday of this week, I was brewing up a storm in my mental. I think it's because my period was starting, right? So my hormones, my hormones were all over the place. Like I was PMSing, so then I started feeling insecure. And I started letting my emotions take control of me. I started imagining SP being with other women, sleeping with other women, talking to other women, being on dating apps and like entertaining other women and shit like going crazy like my mind was playing it out visualizing all that so then that just made me start acting a certain type of way and um even prior to that sp started like pulling away from me literally because in my mind my brain was creating a third p my brain was creating a fucking third p because my brain was just thinking about sp being with a third third p and this third p didn't even exist but i'm like over here creating it <laughs> And I was putting powerful emotions into that, guys. Like, I was putting so much emotions and thought, visualization. I was manifesting that. So then SP naturally started pulling away and being fucking cold to me. And on top of that, being like fucking, um, yeah, being cold and distant. And this is the early, this is the onset, the early onset of my manifestation. So, the, you know, Saturday, that's when I started tripping. And then Sunday, Sunday, he started being fucking mean to me for the first time ever. You know, this motherfucker called me fat. He called me a fat ass. We got into an argument, too. We got into an argument. He called me a fat ass. As a joke. But he's never joked to me like that before. He's never made a joke like that to me. You know, those jokes. And then he kept going in with those jokes. He's like, you're a fat ass. You're messy. You're sloppy drunk all those horrible stuff to me he's never said those things and that's because i was also imagining us fighting and then that actually came into fruition y'all i had the power the whole entire time i had the power and i was creating these horrible circumstances so if that is you right now raise a finger let's go to monday monday he did not talk to me all day no good morning or good night text ignored my messages i went crazy he's done with me he got another bitch so of course he continued to ignore me tuesday comes in i got tired of the 
I got I kind of got tired of the toxicity you know um I, I didn't I didn't like it no more so he still wasn't talking to me and I was like you know what I'm fucking done fuck him I said fuck him and I said all that shit right and you know what that whole entire night because I did not have a I didn't have to go to work I didn't have to do anything else and on top of that I was not able to sleep I had the worst insomnia because I, I had anxiety so I transmuted my anxiety to use that too literally since I can't sleep because I'm fucking anxious as fuck and I'm like going crazy over a man which is so pathetic I don't give a fuck I'm just being me <sighs> he had me fucked up so I transmuted that anxiety and I manifested all night how did I fucking manifest all night? You might ask, how? I was visualizing. It's easier to visualize when you're about to sleep because, like, that's when your brain is trying to fucking start dreaming. So I visualized him, and I was telling him, you are fucking obsessed with me, right? But then that felt weird because I'm like, no, I'm fucking obsessed with you. So I was like, you are in love with me. You are in love with me. You are in love with me, and you spoil me. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said, y'all. The second was you're constantly calling and texting me, right? Because I needed him to text me back. He was not texting me back. He didn't text me back, nothing. And I was like, you're like constantly calling and texting me. And because I was so anxious and all over the place, I also had other affirmations I would throw in because I'm so fucking anxious. But I would prefer to only use one affirmation or two right but yeah i used that i said number one was you are in love with me number two is you're constantly calling and texting me because that's the action that i wanted him to do um and then number three i said that he spoils me i said you spoil me i was like you're thinking about me you can't stop thinking about me the same way i can't stop fucking thinking about you bitch you can't stop thinking about me <laughs> literally literally those were my affirmations i started speaking it out loud too i didn't speak it out loud that much it's just like when you are so anxious, it's like sometimes it's good to let out that tension by transmuting that tension into something verbal and letting that shit the fuck out. So I was like, you are fucking obsessed with me right now. You are in love with me. You are thinking about me. You are texting me right now. That was me in my fucking room. Like a crazy ass person. I'm sure my neighbors were like, bitch, what the fuck? If only you put all that energy into getting some money. <laughs> then the next day, I will start fighting in my head because y'all I'm toxic. I will start saying, man, you're so fucking useless. You don't even do shit for me. You're such a fucking loser. You don't do shit. For me. You don't even treat me good. You never. You know. Just complaining in my head to him. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We are doing the opposite of what we want him to do. We need to bless him. We need to say thank you. If we're going to imagine him, if we're going to daydream about him, you can't daydream anything like, oh, we're fighting. No, I was blessing him. I started blessing him. I'm like, thank you so much for taking care of me. Oh, my God, baby. But, of course, you know, once in a while, I would start having fights. And, it's, you know, that's something that I still do sometimes. But I'm always like, no, no, no. We love the toxicity. The old version of us wants the toxicity. The old version of us wants us to be fighting. The old version of us feels comfortable with us fighting. But we shouldn't be fighting. No. No, we don't like the toxicity. And we are grateful that he takes care of us. We are grateful that he shows us love. He still was a little off. And then I told him I had an injury. And then I didn't speak to him for a whole day. <laughs> He's like, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, I didn't speak to him. I didn't speak to him. And the reason being is because I just I just really did not want to be toxic towards him, you know? So I had to remove myself. Maybe don't say something like, oh, I have an injury. The truth is I did have an injury. I had a neck injury, a neck spasm, but um that that honestly did not stop me from just like texting him. I just kinda I really just needed, I, I, I had the next spasm and then my period started and yeah, I had to manifest my period as well to be lighter. So I just didn't want to talk to him. So I told him, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't feel good. And I didn't give him any details. So I knew that shit was going to make him worry the next day. And he was like, and I, I, during that time where I wasn't talking to him for that day, I was literally affirming that he loved me. And he spoils me. 
I said, you spoil me. You literally spoil me. You love to spoil me. You spoil me all the time. And I would try to visualize him. And it wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect because for some reason, like, I, I think it's because I knew that I was going to get my manifestation. So I wasn't as ambitious to <sighs> visualize. The visualization was hard. Visualizing was hard you know but i would still try to think of him spoiling me and i'm like oh my god you spoil me so much i'm so grateful that you spoil me so much you spoil me so much oh my god thank you I just kept repeating that to myself um i just kept repeating that to him in my head you know and if i couldn't visualize it i used to say sp whatever his name is or her name is you love to do blank you love to do blank literally that thursday he started being so nice to me you know he started texting me a lot calling me he called me like five times in a row and that's something that he never does ever you know if he calls me and i'm if he calls me and i miss it he'll probably call me like twice and that's it that's it <laughs> but he was calling me and texting me and then um he was like hey i would really 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 love to take you out and spoil you t i mean he didn't say that he didn't say that he's like i would really like to take you out and um you know hang out with you tomorrow and i'm like i don't really want to hang out like i literally was like i'm like i don't really want to hang out like i kind of just i would rather if i go out like i go on a date but i wasn't ex i wasn't expecting him to say oh yeah i'm down and he was like yeah yeah let me let me take you out like where do you want to go where do you want to go so of course if you make me pick the place i'm gonna pick like a very very nice place so um i picked like a very expensive sushi place <laughs> and you know i kept telling myself because i was worried he was gonna be like no that's too expensive i was like no 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 he spoils me he spoils me anyways he took me there the sushi he says that the sushi and everything was like a 7 out of 10, but I thought it was like a, I thought it was a 9 out of 10. Like, y'all, I'm going to go back. The scallops, the scallops and the asparagus and the mashed potatoes was so good. And that, yeah, that's what I got at the sushi place. And I also got um some some sort of fucking roll. The roll wasn't that good, but the them scallops, ooh, them scallops. Then he also took me shopping. He took me shopping. And that was so unexpected of him. Like, it was expected, but unexpected. Like, that's not what he really does all the time. But, yeah. <laughs> and when I came to his house, he actually had a gift waiting for me. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And you know what? My toxic self immediately was like, it doesn't even look good. It doesn't even look good or whatever. I tried it on, and it did look good on me. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like... <laughs> And then I had to remind myself, I'm like, why are you still trying to fight with him? Why are you still trying to fight with him? Do you want the circumstances to change again for it to be negative? So immediately I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Like you, you're so sweet to me. You treat me so nicely and just like stop complaining. So that was Friday. That was Friday. He did all those things. We went out, we, we ate and then now today's Saturday and now he's taking care of his responsibilities i'm home and i'm gonna do some shopping even though i'm stinky i smell like shit i should have at least brushed my teeth before i left his house let me put some deodorant on put some deodorant on yeah <laughs> i have this right here this smells so good it's like a sunlight glow vanilla and yeah like so yeah the circumstances do not matter literally like just because you don't see movement i'm telling you from experience just because you don't see movement it doesn't mean that shit ain't happening it doesn't just continue to just continue to persist in your affirmations just continue just because you don't see movement i'm telling you like out of nowhere uh, like he could propose if that's what you're manifesting so yeah stop fucking stop moping around circumstances can change even if they said that they don't want you anymore like they could immediately change their mind oh another thing is i i also was like saying that him and i we didn't get into a big fight we didn't get into a big fight everything's perfectly fine 
<clears throat> between us everything's fine we didn't get into a fight he's not taking it that serious all that shit and that fucking worked so yeah don't don't dwell on your circumstances just be delusional that's my experience that's just my experience and yeah that's it that's all i had to say see you guys hopefully you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did and i'll see you then